Cheeky Richo's Stuffed Picnic Loaf. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Picnic Loaf. This is more of a how-to demonstration rather than a recipe. It's entirely up to you what you decide to fill your loaf with. I just want to share this idea with you because it's a bit of a family favourite of ours. It works very well and you can take it on a picnic with you. First thing that we're going to do is get our loaf and cut it sideways. Then remove the centre section of the bread. Keep that for another use. Don't waste that. To remove that we get a sharp knife and go about 20 mil in from the edge, about three quarters of an inch or two thirds of an inch in from the edge. Put your fingers in and just peel it back. Don't go right through. We don't want our ingredients to seep out of our loaf. Just remove it like so. Now we're going to lay in our bacon which has been cooked in any order. It doesn't matter. It's better to put something in the bottom that isn't going to, to seep into the bread. There is no need to butter this because there is going to be enough moisture emit from the meats that we're using and the cheese without making it too greasy. Now we're going to use some of the Cheeky Richo tomato paste and just layer that on the top. You could of course put cooked egg in this, chicken, anything you like really, whatever suits you. We've got some cooked sweet potato here. We just sliced and cooked it. Just layer that in there. Now we haven't cut any onion up. I have onion here but we haven't done that for the simple reason that the onion will emit a lot of moisture and that will make our bread soggy and we don't want that to happen. This is really quite dry. We've got semi-dried Cheeky Richo tomatoes. I've showed you how to make those in a different video. Just lay those in there as well. Some mushrooms. Sliced very, really. there's only one mushroom here. We could of course cook this first, but it will be heated in the oven and it should be fine. Now we've got some salami, just lay that on top as well. Some little peppers, sliced thinly. Some roast beef, sliced thinly. You could use ham, chicken meat, anything that you like. Now we've got some little, tiny little gherkins. Let's pop those in too. Some spring onions, the greens and the whites. Just one spring onion there. A couple more pieces of salami. Now cheese. I'm using a sage flavoured cheese here, which has got a lovely flavour and it's not too greasy. And then this is our homemade mango chutney. We're going to just pop that into the lid and give it a bit of a spread around so you've got the sweetness and the spiciness not too much of that because you don't want it to make our bread all soggy the flavour of that is going to be divine with our loaf a couple of sprigs of parsley just for flavour and colour you could put avocado, eggplant the only limit is your imagination Right, that's enough I think. Now we get our lid, line it up correctly, there we go, and put it over the top, press it down. Now we get some foil, put it on the foil, and we're going to wrap the first one tightly sideways because we want to really get this quite firmly pressed together. All right, and now we have two long ways ones. And you sit it on the seam so it can't come undone. Over the top like so. This goes into a hot oven at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. You don't want to cook it, you just want to warm it through. And then when it's cooked, you take it out, so that's the bottom there, so you sit it on a baking tray, 20 minutes in a hot oven, then we'll slice it, it'll be delicious. Okay, the Cheeky Richo stuffed picnic loaf is fresh from the oven, just peel through these layers of foil, Ouch. quite hot. There you have it. It's crusty hot. It's too hot to manage. And now we just slice into it.
And there you have it. Cheeky Richo's stuffed picnic loaf. It's warm and crusty from the oven. The cheese is melted. The meats and the vegetables are warm. It's delicious with your favourite bottle of wine or a cold beer. Hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, please check out my Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. Do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day.